How much do you know about the United States Postal Service? You hear a lot of negative comments about their finances, don't you? Well, earlier today, I spoke to the postal workers in Orlando, Florida. Now, these are men and women who are in the same boat as public employees in states like Wisconsin and Verizon workers throughout the country who are on strike right now. They're fighting for their jobs, their rights, and their futures. The United States Postal Service announcing today that it wants to reduce its workforce by 20 percent. But layoffs of that nature are prohibited by union contracts. That's where the Republicans step right on in. GOP Congressman Darrell Issa, who's got a lot of power from California, is drawing from a familiar playbook. He introduced a Tea Party friendly bill that would allow an oversight committee to cut postal worker wages slash benefits and end protections against layoffs. But the financial problems facing the Postal Service, and I want you to hear this, were created largely, not by you and me, but by the Congress. You see, in 2006, a law passed was forced to, the, forcing the Postal Service to provide 75 years worth of pension funding within a 10-year window. Now, who the hell else has to do that? Independent firms estimate that the United States Postal Service already overpaid the fund by 50 to 80 billion dollars. So even though the post office made 226 million dollars in the first quarter profits for this year, 2011, all of that money went to the Congressional Mandate Fund. You know what they're trying to do, folks? They are trying to shut down the United States Postal Service. They want to privatize this as well. And I want to make it very clear tonight that not one tax dollar goes to running the United States Postal Service. It is all operated and funded through the stamps that you and I purchase. Joining me tonight is Cliff Guffey. He is the president of the American Postal Workers Union. Mr. Guffey, great to have you with us tonight. Good to be with you, Ed. Uh, it, it, did I say anything wrong or what I said was that accurate? Can you add yes. to it? That's very accurate, Ed. Uh, uh, the Postal Service has uh, overpaid into their Civil Service Retirement Fund billions of dollars. And you got to remember, that's money that was withheld from the workers. And, and it was matched by postage revenue that, that we, through our productivity, have uh, earned for the Postal Service. And that was given to Congress to prepay our, our retirement funds. Well, these actuaries, these independent actuaries have actually said, one has said there's at least 50 billion overpaid into this one fund, and there's 75 billion paid into it by the other actuary. This is done by the Office of Inspector General and by the Postal Regulatory Commission. So what is Congress, uh, what could they do to reverse this, to balance your books a heck of a lot better? Because you are a profitable organization. The United States Postal Service has been profitable this year. What has yeah. to happen? E even with that money drained off into our retirement system, but the Postal Service uh, was required to, to prefund our uh, our health insurance into retirement by five point something billion dollars a year for the last five or six years. Without that uh, 20 or 30 billion dollars going into that fund, the post office has been profitable. Now what the Congress wants us to continue doing is continue to put money into these uh, retirement funds and to keep prefunding. But if they would uh, credit the Postal Service with that money, that's actually the workers' money. Sure. Uh, that the Postal Service could pay off its debt, it could pay all the future deposits that necessary, and have some operating cash to get through uh, this very trying time. So you're While mandated. This recession that's been created by the. Uh, the Congress is trying to blame the workers. That's sure. what irritates me. They're blaming the workers for the problems in the, of the country, which is there's not enough commerce in this country because they've allowed a system to set up to move all the work overseas. And so why is the Congress now uh, coming forward saying they want to they cut the, uh, the Postal Service, wants to cut the workforce 20 percent, and they're talking about five-day delivery service? Why do they want to do that? Because they have no means. If, if, the, if they've gone to the Congress and asked Congress to release these funds, and they'd say, oh, no, we can't release these funds. Because if they release the funds back to the Postal Service, it would show how underfunded the rest of the government is. And it'd be another deficit, just show how badly and poorly the rest of the government is run. The people where they put tax dollars into it's run poorly. Where postage dollars have come in, it's been run 
properly. They won't take my retirement funds that I put in and the post service put in to pay the retirements for the other federal agencies that they haven't funded. Wow. That's just totally improper. It is improper. And you guys don't use any tax dollars. It's all from stamps and all from services that you sell, correct? That's correct. And I mean, it's like they're, they're taking our money and using it for other things in the federal government. And uh, do you think they want to privatize you? Do you think that there are some in Congress that want to get rid of the Postal Service and all go privatization? I, I believe they, there are some people. You've got to remember, the Postal Service still makes $70 billion a year. $70 billion worth of business comes into the Postal Service. And it supports a trillion-dollar industry out there, paper manufacturing, envelopes, cards, various uh, companies that, that, that the Postal Service supports. And, reducing it, and reducing it to a five-day delivery service would certainly hurt our economy. There's a lot of studies out there right. that medicines show that. Medicines and what you know, yeah. We would find a way to get the medicines to the individuals. But we, we want to serve the American people. Yeah. You know, the Postal Service is respected by 80% of the public. Congress, 20%. I'll be, I hope the public stays on our side in this to know that I we want to provide the service and we want to be there to help the public. I'm going to do more on this. I use your service every day. Cliff Guffey, thanks so much. President of Thank the you. American Postal Workers Union. Sean Hannity talks about President Obama's black liberation theology. And it gets Hannity into the zone. That's next.